Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 9th of January, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Adrian of Canterbury. Saint Adrian of Canterbury, when he was still young, he was made a monk and then the abbot. And uh, he was the abbot of the monastery of Neridha near Naples, outstanding from his learning as well as for sanctity, he was offered the Archbishopric of Canterbury, England by Pope Saint Vitalian in succession to Saint Justesit, who had died in a great pestilence in 1669. But humbly, Adrian considered himself unworthy of so high an office and succeeded in persuading the Pope to appoint instead the Greek man Theodor, who was then 66. It was finally agreed that Adrian should accompany the new Archbishop out to England and serve as his advisor. The journey began soon after the consecration in 668, but Adrian was detained in France for two whole years on suspicion of bearing secret messages to England from Byzantine Emperor. When he was finally permitted to reach his destination, he was made abbot of monastery of St. Peter in Canterbury, St. Benedict Biscop having resigned. This house founded by St. Augustine in 605 gradually became, uh, came under Adrian's inspiration and able guidance, the very center of learning in the British Isle. From it and from the other schools which St. Adrian established in the land went forth many of great missionaries and saintly scholars who in 8th century established the faith in Germany. St. Adrian died in the year 17, 710 on 9th January after 39 years of faithful labor as the abbot of Canterbury. So beautiful story of someone who gave his life to the dedication towards the labor of propagation of faith. How am I promoting faith? Amen.